NASA has recently confirmed by its NEOWISE project tracking near-Earth objects that a brown dwarf star is, quote, relatively close to Earth. And of course, in this comparison image, you can see how big the brown dwarf star is compared to Earth. It's bigger than Jupiter. And of course, it's heading inbound towards us, towards our planet. But it's not only NASA of the United States or European Space Agency or the space agencies of other countries that are interested in this planet. It's also the Vatican. In a recent article, Planet X and the Jesuit footage classified secret Omega, it's the Catholic Church that has its Servizio Informazione del Vaticano, that's the secret Omega, an Italian investigative journalist claims that he recently had a meeting with a top Vatican official belonging to this secret Omega, secret of Omega, and they are in charge of extraterrestrial affairs and the return of planet X. So secret Omega, secret Omega governs access to all this information. And this explains why former Vatican insiders, such as Monsignor Corrado Balducci, appear to be out of the loop, and they give this information. The release of the controversial MJ-12 files and of the Guardian files by anonymous individuals for the first time in history one member of the ufological community, an Italian freelance writer and investigative journalist, was able to check the credentials of this anonymous secret Omega insider. And this man was responsible for the release of classified material having to do with the return of Planet X and extraterrestrials, aliens and the extraterrestrial affairs. So, he was an insider of the presumed Vatican intelligence structure, Secret Omega, and his actions were supported by his colleagues. Now, the freelancer, Cristoforo Barbato, talking about Secret Omega, Secret of Omega, is an Italian independent UFO researcher and for the last seven years worked on writing concerning several UFO magazines in Italy. He's also collaborated to the realization of two Italian encyclopedias on UFOs and interestingly enough he also has had many contacts concerning Stargate extraterrestrial and Stargate magazine where he wrote concerning the Fatima operations and the, firm, for the famous third secret of Fatima that uh, supposedly has not yet been disclosed by the Vatican even though they were supposed to do that in the 1960s. So as Barbato was writing his various articles concerning the Fatima apparitions and the famous undisclosed third secret. In the year 2000, he received emails from a, an anonymous person claiming that he was a Vatican insider belonging to the Omega Secret Service, having to do with the extraterrestrial and Planet X files. He asked to meet him and he did so in Rome in 2001. And Barbato was sure that this man was legitimate. This man was a Jesuit working at the Holy See and he provided videos and images having to do with Planet X at the edges of our solar system. So in 2001 the Vatican Insider sent Cristoforo Barbado by post a videotape and in this videotape, for the first time, 
It contained footage of two minutes regarding observations of a planetoid in deep space, what we call Planet X or the 10th planet as referred to by Zachariah Sitchin, and it was approaching our solar system. The video showed an introduction of writings of classification on it and had been carried out by a secret space probe named Silo. He went on to explain that the Silo space probe, according to Barbados Contact, sent the images of the planetoid Planet X in October of 1995 after it came back from the border of the solar system to have more power for, for the signal to a secret radio telescope hidden at an unused oil refining plant in Alaska managed by Jesuits belonging to Secret Omega. He also added that this radio telescope was built in 1990 to observe anomalous celestial bodies on approaching the solar system. Well, we also know that the Vatican has uh, an Arizona telescope watching the skies as well. So the passage from our Barbados press release says, quote, The meeting with an alien delegation at Maroc Air Force Field Base in February 1954 in the presence of President Dwight Eisenhower and James Francis McIntyre, Bishop of Los Angeles. After that incredible event, McIntyre flew to Rome to refer everybody to Pope Pius XII, who decided to found the SIV, the Secret Omega, with the aim to gather every possible bit of information about aliens and how they interacted with the American government. From then, Bishop McIntyre of the U.S. of Los Angeles and Detroit Archbishop Edward Mooney became the main information co-coordinators between the U.S and the Vatican State. This secret Omega insider of the Vatican also informed Barbato, the Itali Italian uh, investigative journalist, that the United States had a phantom spaceship called Aurora, which, uh, which was capable of reaching max six speeds. And of course, the US officials are denying that. The insider, alleged that it was an American secret hypersonic aircraft capable of reaching the Mach 6 performance. Now, the Italian investigative journalist Barbato remarks are confirmed in Dr. Stephen Greer, his book recently titled Hidden Truth, Forbidden Knowledge, revealed in the chapter number 16, passages of it have been published in Nexus News Times magazine on the survey Twilight Zone, number 64, October, November 2006, that during a meeting with some rebel insiders taking place in December 1944 in Phoenix by Wrigley Manson, one of them confessed to him that determinate Jesuit control technology on UFOs information and contact with aliens. This article also goes on to state that there should have been some direct personal meetings between Secret Omega members and the Nordic looking races of aliens coming from the Pleiades. And that these aliens presumably warned humans against another alien race met by the Americans in the California desert. That these meetings between Secret Omega and aliens took place mainly in the US territory, but also twice in Rome at the Vatican. Uh, precisely in the Vatican Gardens at the Papal Academy of Sciences in the presence of Pope Pius XII. The Jesuit contact also confirmed to the Italian journalist the reality of the George Adamski John the 23rd meeting that where they spoke about some very interesting details concerning the aliens and planet X and also called secret Omega the highest security level equivalent to the NATO cosmic top secret 
I'll leave a link below for you for this article. One of my previous videos was on Planet X and that NASA had detailed the fact that we had a brown dwarf star relatively close to Earth. Relatively close to Earth without saying how close it was, but it was a discussion concerning near-Earth hazardous objects which could possibly impact Earth or fly so close to Earth that the impact would be felt on Earth. And also Father Malachi Martin, who is close to one of the former popes who passed away in 1999. And many people believe that his death was not by accident because he had revealed the fact that Planet X or some kind of a planetary body was inbound towards Earth and that third secret of Fatima would in fact be a celestial body coming so close to Earth or impacting Earth with a devastation, a chaos that would be utterly inconceivable. He said that it would not be a few million casualties, victims, it would be an unimaginable disaster. For quite some time now, the Vatican has had its infrared telescope in Arizona examining the skies for what could be incoming. Also, we had a previous video concerning the fact that the planets in our solar system are heating up, they're lighting up, and the scientists have no explanation as to what what is causing this. Of course, there is something causing it, something causing friction, something causing energy, and they have no idea where it's coming from. We also have over a hundred underground bunkers in the United States. People who are affluent, the elite, the rich people, the people that can afford the underground bunkers are trying to set them up for something that they believe is incoming some kind of a devastation. We also see that the Federal Bank of New York has moved from New York to Chicago because they fear of something that may take place concerning the East Coast, some kind of a natural catastrophe. And it's not just in the caliber of Hurricane Sandy, something much more. Pope John Paul II in Fulda, Germany, 1980. October 1981, issue of the German magazine Stim de Globens reported on a discussion that Pope John Paul II had with a select group of German Catholics in November of 1980, the following verbatim report, discussion. Text of the public re report says, the Holy Father was asked what about the third secret of Fatima? Should it not have already been published by 1960? Pope John Paul II replied, given the seriousness of the contents, my predecessors in the Petrine office diplomatically preferred to postpone publication so as not to encourage the world power of communism to make certain moves. On the other hand, it should be sufficient for all Christians to know this. If there is a message in which it is written, that the, ocean, the oceans will flood whole areas of the earth. That's of course tsunamis, the whole areas of the earth worldwide. Going back to the, what Pope John Paul was saying. And that from one moment to the next, millions of people will perish. Truly the publication of such a message is no longer something to be so much desired. The Pope continued. Many wish to know simply from curiosity and a taste for the sensational, but they forget that knowledge also implies responsibility. They only seek the satisfaction of their curiosity, and that is dangerous if at the same time they are not disposed to do something. 
and if they are convinced that it is impossible to do anything against evil. At this point the Pope grasped a rosary and said, here is the remedy against this evil. Pray, pray, and ask for nothing more. Leave everything else to the Mother of God. The Holy Father was then asked, what is going to happen to the Church? He answered, we must prepare ourselves to suffer great trials before long, such as will demand of us a disposition to give up even life and a total dedication to Christ and for Christ. With your and my prayer, it is possible to mitigate this tribulation, but it's no longer possible to avert it, because only thus can the Church be effectively renewed. How many times has the renewal of the Church sprung from blood? This too, this time too, it will not be otherwise. We must be strong and prepared and trust in Christ and His Mother and be very, very assiduous in praying the Rosary. The prayer of the Rosary is either to Jesus Christ uh, or and to the Mother of God, the Virgin Mary. What it means, when Pope John II, when Pope John Paul II spoke at Fulda, he had not yet been the victim of the 1981 assassination attempt. Speaking of the third secret of Fatima, he did not allude to anything assembling a future assassination attempt, which in 2000 the Vatican announced to be the subject of the final part of the secret that Our Lady revealed in Fatima in 1917, but rather to imminent chastisement and worldwide tribulation. The Holy Father implied that evil is the force behind the elements contained in the third secret. The themes alluded to here by the Holy Father are consistent with these considered by leading Fatima experts to be the substance of the real third secret, uh, secret of Fatima and are in, discussed in detail in the article, The Third Secret. And I'll leave a link below for you for anyone who wants to read on that. It's concerning what the Mother of God, the Virgin Mary, told to Sister Lucia, who is in the middle of this photograph. Links below. Thank mm -hmm. you.